What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer pictures and videos uh, from your PC slash Mac to your iOS device uh, using the Apple Lightning to SD card adapter. So uh, the process is relatively easy. Um, it can be complicated uh, if you do not already know how to do this. Um, so that's why I'm making this video because it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we need to do is you need to plug in your SD card into your computer. Um, so of course for this video I'm going to be using a Mac. Um, so I will make a separate video uh, showing how to do this exact same thing on a Windows computer as well. But anyway, so after you've uh, plugged in your SD card, uh, go to your uh, file browser, in this case Finder on the Mac, and locate where your SD card is at under Devices. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then you want to create a new folder. So let's go ahead and click the little gear icon up here and go down at the very top actually, new folder, and you want to make sure you name that folder DCIM. So DCIM, enter, and there you go. So we have now created the folder. So now we need to get some photos uh, to transfer to that folder. So I'm going to use these two photos down here. Uh, currently they're named uh, Star Trails and Star Trails 2. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the photos I want to transfer uh, into that DCIM folder. There you go. Now if we click into that folder you can see the, uh, the photos have now been copied. Now this is where the trickiness can come in. Uh, you have to name uh, the photos in a very specific way. So for the first picture you want to name it um, anything with um, letters and numbers within the name. So for this demonstration, I'm going to do DCM underscore 0001. You have to make sure that you do three zeros and the number one for the very first image. Hit enter. Then on the second photo, we want to do the same thing, DCM underscore 000. But in this time, instead of putting one, you put two. Enter. And then that is uh, going to allow... Uh, the iPhone or iPad to view or recognize uh, those two photos. Now if you left the names um, as they were before without changing them to this specific order, uh, the iOS device would not recognize uh, the photos. So you have to make sure that you do this. So that is basically it for the computer portion of this video. So next up I'm going to be showing you guys now um, how to transfer them over from the SD card to your iOS device uh, using that uh, SD card adapter like I mentioned earlier. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, uh, now that you have finished transferring uh, your pictures uh, over to the SD card from your computer and uh, named them in the correct uh, order, um, now you just need to get your SD card reader and put the SD card into it, just like so, and then plug the SD card uh, reader into your iPhone or iPad. This works with both iPhone and iPad, by the way. Um, it does not matter which you're using. <coughs> um, just if you're using an iPhone, you need to make sure you're running at least iOS 9.2 to be able to do this. Uh, but yeah, okay, so the iPhone has now recognized the device, and now as you can see, uh, the pictures are now on the phone. You can now view them and import them. So you see both those photos are there and they're in the correct order uh, that I named them on the computer. So we can go and instantly import them if you'd like. There we go. So now they've been imported. You can keep, go to albums, last import, and there you go. So now there are the photos that you just imported and transferred from your computer. So again, this works both with PC and Mac. Uh, computers. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. 
Um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated. Um, hit the like button as well. That's also much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or need help, drop a comment below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So yeah, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.